Welcome back to Purity Class Lesson 3 for July 2020, and the topic is still stewardship. The objective says that the Puritan would realize that they can be responsible even as teenagers. Joseph was a teenager when he was sold to Potiphar. He was so excellent at his job that he became a leader in charge of Potiphar's household. He had been faithful when he helped his brother watch his father's flocks. It was this faithfulness that was one reason that his brothers hated him. There will always be haters. Joseph was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife and ended up in prison. Even in prison, he was faithful. He didn't allow his circumstances to determine his character. God gave Joseph wisdom and became second to Pharaoh. So let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 17 through 18. It says, And thou say in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Remember the Lord. Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 through 24. That says, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Now let's look at Proverbs chapter 18, verses 12 through 17. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. So the scripture to look at is the 16th verse. It says, A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. God wants us to be good stewards, good stewards of the gifts that he gives us, and also use the gifts that he gives us to serve him by serving God's people. God bless you and thank you for joining us today.